Solar Eclipse fans have been scouting the best location to view this year's eclipse for more than a year. I'm meteorologist Jason Myers, and if you've procrastinated in finding a good place, I've rounded up the 15 best spots across the U.S. to watch the eclipse. Because on August 21st, 2017, this total solar eclipse is going to cut a path across the entire country. Number one, an airplane in the Pacific. Alaska Airlines is running a contest to fly above the clouds and over the Pacific Ocean to watch the eclipse before anyone stuck on the ground has a chance to even see it. Two, Lincoln Beach, Oregon. This is the first spot on land to witness the eclipse with totality beginning at 10.17 in the morning and lasting for almost two minutes. Three, Umatilla and Malheur National Forests in Eastern Oregon. If you want to watch in solitude, this is your spot. With a combined 3.1 million acres, you should be able to find a quiet spot to catch this rare event. Four, Mount Bora, Idaho's tallest peak. The 12,662 foot summit should make for a great spot to watch the eclipse, assuming the weather holds up. Some Idaho adventurers are taking that gamble and they're documenting their preparation for it and their summit on social media and on their blog. Five, Grand Tetons National Park, Wyoming. The National Park Service is expecting their busiest day ever and they'll likely be drawing guests who were originally thinking of visiting nearby Yellowstone, which isn't quite in the path of totality. Six, Homestead National Monument, Nebraska. This is a small national park, only 195 acres, but the Park Service is holding a number of events leading up to and on the day of the eclipse, including a meet and greet with Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill, 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 Bill. Seven, St. Joseph, Missouri. More specifically, the Rosecrans Memorial Airport. The path of totality is right over top of this small airport's runway, so they're holding a watch party in this prime location. Added bonus, totality will last a little more than two and a half minutes. Eight, Carbondale, Illinois. This spot gets to claim the longest time of totality, which begins at 1.21 in the afternoon and will last a whopping two minutes and 41 seconds, longer than any other spot in the U.S. Nine. Shawnee National Forest, Illinois. If you can't make it to Carbondale, this nearby national forest will experience totality for only a second shorter. Plus, you'll have the added benefit of enjoying the largest public forest in Illinois. 10. Land Between the Lakes National Recreation Area in Kentucky. The eclipse may be happening on the 21st, but this spot has a number of family-friendly events in the days leading up to the big day. 11. Hopkinsville, Kentucky, or Eclipseville, as they're calling themselves in the days before the eclipse. This small community's website is inviting everyone to their town to enjoy the eclipse with a little southern hospitality. 12. Nashville, Tennessee. If Hopkinsville is small town America, this is at the opposite end of the spectrum. This is the most populous city in the path of totality, so there should be plenty of things to see and do both before and after the eclipse. 13. Great Smoky Mountains National Park in Tennessee. This is the most visited national park in the U.S., and this year's eclipse will likely boost those numbers even more. 14. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. While it's not in the path of totality, nearby Charleston's the place to go for that. This beach community is more likely a party destination with a near total eclipse as an added bonus. 15. A boat in the Atlantic. Royal Caribbean's having a total eclipse cruise. They're departing from Florida the day before, and they're throwing an eclipse party at sea, likely making them the last Americans to see the spectacle until the next eclipse. If you couldn't find a spot on our list spanning from sea to shining sea, you can always watch from the comfort of your own home because NASA is going to be streaming the entire event live on their website. Comment below and let me know where you're going to be watching the eclipse. As always, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like it and subscribe.